Welcome to Career Guidance Max Playlist. In this video, I am going to continue in uh, integration by parts model. Okay, here I take an uh, integral of e power ax cos bx dx. This problem I will solve based on integration by parts. This one is important in integration by parts. This result you are using in higher semester as a formula. Here we are going to derivative derive this result. You can take i equal to integral of e power ax cos bx dx. Okay. If you want to apply integration by parts means we should know which one is u, which one is dv. Already you know the procedure how to choose u. U always choose i late con concept. I is inverse. L is logarithmic, A is algebra, T is trigonometric, finally exponential. Here we will have exponential and trigonometric. I will take uh, trigonometric cos bx. And the rest of that uh, I will take dv, e power ax into dx. Okay. So this one I will differentiate with respect to x, du by dx equal to cos bx differentiation minus b sin bx okay wow. so i'll write du equal to minus b sin bx into dx okay and integral of dv equal to integral of e power ax into dx so left hand side integration of dv constant term is v right hand side e power ax divided by a so it is our uh, u v dv values integration by parts the formula is integral u dv equal to u v minus integral v d okay here I am going to substitute this integral u dv I am considering i because we are going to identify only integral e power ax cos bx dx okay so that I take an i u is cos bx and v is e power ax divided by a and minus integral of v is e power ax divided by a and du is minus b sin dx dx okay so simplify this i'll write uh, this one e power ax divided by a and cos bx minus to minus plus b by a constant taking outside integral e power ax sin dx dx okay so next i'll write integral e power ax divided by a cos bx and plus b by a this integral e power x sin bx dx i will consider i1 which is equation number one so i is equal to e power ax cos bx plus b by a i1 from this i will separately i am going to identify i1 so how to identify i1 i1 is equal to i1 is equal to integral of e power ax sin bx dx okay again apply integration by parts i will take u equal to trigonometric term sin bx sin bx differentiation with respect to x is b into cos bx sin bx differentiation cos bx and again differentiation you will get b i will write du equal to b cos bx into dx okay here i will take dv equal to e power ax dx so integrate this term integral of dv equal to integral of e power ax 
dx. So again I will get v equal to e power ax divided by a. Integral of exponential a power x we can write e, e power ax into divided by x coefficient that is a we have to write. Now I am substituting integration by parts. The formula is integral u dv equal to uv minus integral of v du. Here u is sin vx and v is e power ax divided by a and minus integral of v is e power ax divided by a and uh, uh, du is b into cos bx dx. So I'll write here e power ax divided by a into sin bx minus here I'll take outside b by a constant term. I'll write d by a integral of e power ax cos vx dx so here this integral e power ax into cos bx dx I am going to write e power ax divided by a sin bx minus b by a this one I am considering i because already initially we taken i is equal to integral of e power ax cos bx dx. So that here I return this integral term into i. Okay. Here uh, this one we identified i1 only which is equation number 2. So from equation 1. From equation 1 I am going to substitute 2. Okay. So equation 1 is already we derived that is i is equal to e power ax cos bx plus b by a i1 right uh. so i'll write i is equal to e power ax divided by a cos bx and plus b by a i1 okay here i'm going to substitute i1 value. What it is i1 value? e power ax divided by a cos bx plus b by a. i1 is e power ax divided by a sin bx minus b by a i. Right off. i1 we substituted here. Now I am going to simplify this e power ax divided by a cos bx and multiply with b by a b divided by a square of a into a e power ax and sin bx okay and multiply minus b square divided by a square into i okay well. right left hand side you will have i this minus b square divided by a square into i, I am shifting to left hand side, I'll write i into plus b square divided by a square into i is equal to e power ax divided by a cos bx and plus b divided by a square e power ax into sin bx, okay. So after this, Here i plus b square by a square i I'll write I'll cross multiply with a square a square i plus b square i divided by common term a square is equal to e power ax divided by a cos bx plus b divided by a square e power ax sin bx okay here I will take outside commonly i. So i into a square plus b square divided by a square is equal to 
e power a x divided by a cos b x plus b by a square into e power a x sin b x. Now I am going to shift this a square plus b square divided by a square to right hand side. I will write i is equal to product form take a reciprocal a square divided by a square plus b square. Here we have two terms so you can apply for both the term cos bx and plus a square divided by a square plus b square b divided by a square e power ax sin bx okay here one a will cancel here a square a square cancel i'll get here a divided by a square plus b square e power ax cos bx and plus here b divided by a square plus b square e power ax sin bx okay well, the both side from here the common term e power ax divided by a square plus b square from the both term i'll take outside e power ax divided by a square plus b square the rest of the values are a into cos bx plus b into sin bx so this is our final answer for i i means what integral of e power ax cos bx dx equal to this answer so this is this is the formula we are going to apply in higher semester here we derived that formula okay so you can practice similarly integral e power ax sin bx dx the same manner okay you can try to solve this you will get one eight mark substitution method or integration by parts you will get one eight mark based on this okay Papa? thank you